Okay, uh, first of all, Happy New Year to everybody. It's our first video of the year, and we said we have to do something special. So we, we have here a very well-known photographer and a cycling fanatic of Belgium called Martin Verfaye. Martin, welcome in Ireland. Well, thank you. Uh, how do you find it in the first few days, Ireland, different than Belgium? Oh, no, it's the same weather as at this moment, so <laughs> it makes not much different. Uh -huh. Then I met some people that I saw with the past before in Belgium, so same people, same weather. Uh, oh, you think the men are more beautiful here than uh, they are in Belgium? <laughs> you mean you? <laughs> no, no I, am, I am Belgium, you know, so that doesn't matter. <laughs> now you're Irish now. Uh, so, but, uh, overall, uh, I, I didn't went out already. So, uh, yeah, I, I went to the to the coast, but I didn't saw a lot of men's. Right. So, because it was cold, nobody comes out. Uh -huh. So I cannot tell. I I maybe say that tomorrow then if I see all the nice riders passing. Uh -huh. Right. So we're gonna warn the riders from now. Uh, please uh, make sure you're looking well for Martin tomorrow. So we're on the eve of uh, the national championship cyclocross. You bringing over with you, David Conroy. You've been looking after David for the last six, seven weeks, did you? Yeah, yeah. It was really nice, uh -huh. and it's still nice to look after him because he's coming back after the national. So, yeah. So you actually gonna after the uh, after the world championships, he's going back home. To, till then, he stays in Belgium. Yeah, yeah. But I bet he's coming back to Belgium again next season. I hope he do. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you getting on with each other, yeah? Yeah, 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 he's good company. We're watching every night the movie, so. <laughs> yeah. oh, I suppose a bit of a grown-up company for you is, you know, after all the youngsters, you know, he's a little bit older, you know, well, he's, what, 20 now, isn't he, uh, David? I have no idea, actually. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> I've never asked the age of the riders. Well, he was a... Second, second year, second I think, year, yeah. I think, I'm not too sure, well, he will tell us tomorrow himself, but I think his second year uh, uh, yeah, second under tw year. under 23, because I know two years ago he won the Junior Championship, but then he couldn't uh, have the jersey on because the following year he was uh, uh, yeah, an under 23, yeah, exactly. you know, so yeah. uh, this time it will be different. If he would manage to get the under 23 uh, jersey, it would be great to see him racing in Belgium with the uh, national jersey. But I think there are no jerseys for uh, the under-23 riders. I think it's only yeah. the rider that win have a jersey, and that's it. Uh -huh. And he's cycling together with the elite. So uh -huh. I think it's only the winner that have the jersey, and that's pretty shame, actually, because I think the best under-23 rider deserve a shirt as well. So Cycling Island, you have to change that. Uh, you heard it now, Cycling Island. But I think that David Montgomery had the, under, uh, the Cycling Island uh, jersey on. As an under 23. I think you won it overall. Ah, I I know, yeah, it. yes, but they're, they're very skimpy with uh, giving out jerseys. Uh, cycling Island, sorry for that, but uh, you are. Uh, <laughs> that's what Martin said, that, not me now, you know. <laughs> I'll be in trouble anyway. Martin, uh, so what are your plans? Because you have been looking for now three, four years since I met you the first time. Uh, after Horaris lads, you know, and uh, now a few more, even not with the Belgian project, come around, you know, and uh, you have a busy time every summer. Oh, yeah, but that is good for me, keep me busy. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I like it. And I go to the races anyway, so it doesn't matter if I have riders with me or not. And for the riders, it's a good experience, so. But uh, you don't forget to tell us that you get up four o'clock in the morning. And that your day is over about well, 11, 12 o'clock night time, you know, because you do a full time job. You're looking and swaying and the, the, the young lads. And then uh, you do your editing of your photographs, you know, they have to be online. And uh, so it's a long day for you. Yeah, but it keeps me busy. It uh -huh. keeps me young, so it doesn't matter. I like it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, so so, uh, so uh, do you have uh, any already have told you they're going to come around again this year because you have a lot of people who are coming back, the most all love your home because a lot of riders coming back every, each year? I don't know if they like my home, but <laughs> maybe they like me. I hope they like me. <laughs> well, it's just like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, they like to coming back, so they are welcome, but um, it's starting to be too small, my house. I think I need more rooms. 
Uh, well, maybe the Belgium uh, Cycling Federation now maybe can get you house, you know, because you, yeah, you promote a lot, really, in one way, you promote Irish cycling, but you also promote the Belgium Cycling, because, you know, yeah, with with your photographs, especially, and then with looking after Irish lads, you know, you're very well known now in the cycling uh, fraternity. Yeah, well, start to be famous. <laughs> uh, well... Uh, if I go to Belgium myself, nobody knows me there. You know, only a few people. You know, the people I, I'm, I'm used to. Here, everybody knows me. But that's you know, after ten years being be, being around, you know, you get to know. You know, but uh, uh, the, 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 in Belgium, I never would be as famous as you would be in in, in Belgium now, because yeah. everybody knows. You. Even Tom Boon and Passy said hello, Martin. You know, so <laughs> and that's not a lie. That's not a lie, isn't it? I think know? that. Yeah. I think that you need a more can. Uh, <laughs> that yeah. makes you more famous, I uh, think. Uh, but that was not the reason, actually, uh, that you wear a Mohican, isn't it? No, I have them already for years, so, uh, yeah. So, since when did you start wearing that? Hmm, 2021. 20, but I was always different than all the other ones, so I was always right. a bit exceptional. Right. Yeah. I didn't like it to walk in line like everybody does, so, uh, no. Uh, Oh, we're good friends here then, because uh, <laughs> I, uh, at least, uh, but I cannot do nothing with my hair anymore, you know, but uh, for the rest, uh, you know. You can let it grow here. Yeah. Some green in it. Uh-huh. Uh, well, maybe tomorrow I put some green in for uh, the Nationals, but uh, Martin, it's so great to have you in my home, because uh, uh, it's is first time, isn't it? Uh, I visited you once home, in your home, and I just cannot remember more. How did we get in touch with each other? Because it, it confused me a bit here, because I know so many people, but I think it was online that I was looking for somebody to look after. I was at, um, who was it again? Yes, was it the, the girl? Uh, what's her name again? Fran? Did you look after Fran? No, no you didn't, no. no. No, that was Hein. No, um, Mark and Cameron or the first one. Yeah. And that was the boys that you sending me, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Now, I even don't know how yeah. we met each other for the first time. I'm or not sure. Uh, contacted, I don't know. I'm not okay. sure anymore this is now missed, but this is uh, so much, much, much happened in the last four years and so many people have been over that after a while you lose count who, what yeah. and, and also. But uh, okay. but I'm very, very grateful that I find you. Uh, this year we're going to do a bit less Belgian project wise of sending people down because last year you had a, not a horrible time, but you had a very, very too busy time with uh, six uh, lads in the house. Normally it would have been four. But then there was two who didn't find the who we couldn't find a place anymore because something was cancelled, yeah. and you came and uh, came in the breach and helped us out because uh, otherwise we would have to really disappoint these lads. But mm -hmm. they were allowed to come, and uh, I hope they're very grateful for that because uh, uh, you make sure that our lads are living the dream because that's what they do, living the dream. You know, so uh, sometimes you can give somebody a million, but you can give a racer a month racing in Belgium and they think that's a, a million, you know, that's how much it worked for some of them, you know, so. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I think it's great for the boys if they can coming over because they learn a lot in Belgium because the level is much more higher than in Ireland. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, it's good if I see that they make progress, that makes me feel better. Uh -huh. So yeah. it doesn't matter if they are long. So. Yeah. And you had the occasion of flowers as well, not very often, but it happens yeah. sometimes. You know, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's always nice if you have flowers yeah. in the house, yeah. isn't it? Who was the first one? Was it Jack Gray who brought you flowers for the first yeah. time? Yeah. yeah, it was Jake, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Jake was not now with the Belgian project, but uh, he got a bit of a, a small bursary last year to help him out. Uh, but uh, uh, Martin has been really good to us. Martin is also a good one to put all riders in the shop window because everybody knows Martin. If you are with Martin, you automatically get uh, in newspapers. You get in photographs as well of other people, you know, so it's a good way. In one way, Martin is, uh, is very helpful in that way to uh, really uh, promote the Belgian project and our recycling. And, and doing now, Martin, I heard yesterday uh, the chairman and the committee of cycling Ulster uh, came to visit you in uh, Marquini's house where he was staying last yeah. night, and they got you a beautiful trophy. Uh, uh, so uh, we're gonna show it to the people in a moment. You know, yeah. what do you think of that? Because I think you deserve what you're getting a really Belfast, uh, Belfast. Uh, you hold it for me, yeah. a Belfast class or crystal, what they call it. Uh, it's a beautiful one with harps uh, in yeah. it. Uh, and it's uh, actually it says if I look right, it's the. I need my glasses here. 
See, and we don't cut, and that's why we we'll do it very quickly. It's the chairman's word, so the chairman uh, that would be now Maurice McAllister, and presented to Martin Verfay in 2018. That's a hell of a nice wee thing to have on your mantelpiece, I think. Oh, yeah, I was really surprised because I didn't expect it. It's really, really, really nice to give that to me. So thank you very much. You're, you're well, well, well deserved that, you know, and I think it's, it's great. Uh, uh, it's better than really in one way than money, isn't it? You know, yeah, to have something is. that you can keep, yeah. you know, because money yeah. is just spent, do you? You know, so uh, this is great. I have my own awards here that I had one for Cycling Austin in 2012. And then I had the main one, the 2015, when I'm very proud of uh, the Cycling Island one, uh, but Cycling Austria is my federation. Very proud to have my federation. Uh, we have a good committee now. So uh, we're looking forward to uh, a good year of racing again, 2018 start. Our first job tomorrow in uh, Dublin, in Glen Cullen Adventure Park or something like that. It's Dublin 18, it's just at the end of the M50. And uh, we, Martin, will take a few photographs as well. So next week you find the photographs of Martin as well on Facebook, including ourselves as well. And uh, Tony Mares, who David cannot come, so Tony Mares will uh, uh, do a few photographs and 3D photographs, and uh, we will be in full, uh, in full flow there tomorrow. And uh, hopefully we can capture the event. And uh, we wish everybody a good luck uh, with it. Probably by the time you see the video. <laughs> the championships will be over, but uh, uh, tough luck then if you didn't win it. So, bye-bye. And uh, thanks for listening. And uh, thanks, Martin, for coming over. Uh, you do us all a great favor with that. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. See you later, everybody. Bye. <laughs>